Hey guys, it's Jen here with the Bella Boulevard Creative Team. This week on the blog, we are talking about the felt pennants that are available. And so uh, what I'm doing is I'm going to create a layout featuring those pennants uh, along with the soccer collection that is available from Bella. Um, I decided to go with kind of like uh, a centered photo on my page. And then my idea here was to line some of the pennants up uh, in a row underneath the photo just to kind of anchor the photo onto the page and so I'm going to use four of those and the great thing about these pendants is that they are are they come on like a clear acetate backing so you can actually place them on your page and see how they look without having to adhere them so I love doing that with embellishments so I'm just going to use four and line those up there where I think I want to place them and then I'm going to open the ephemera pack from the soccer collection and see if there are any pieces in there that I want to use. Um, I'm just trying to decide what I want my title to be and I think I'm going to use that soccer word and I'll end up popping that up on some foam adhesive as well. To make sure that my pennants are in a straight line, I'm just going to grab a pencil and my T-square ruler and draw a faint line across my page and that will allow me to line those up um, more easily. I like doing that a lot with um, alphabet stickers too. So I'm just going to adhere my photo and then after that I will get to work on uh, adhering those uh, felt pieces on the page. So the back of them is pretty sticky and it's actually all adhesive. The whole you know triangle is filled with adhesive so it's great. Um, they're definitely not coming off the page so that's good so I'm just gonna finish um, lining those up there underneath the photo making sure I get them all straight and then uh, what I'm going to do also is decide if I want to, to put a, um, a mat underneath that and I didn't think it looked right so I'm just gonna go ahead and adhere uh, the white cardstock onto the background there. I love that pattern paper. It looks like a soccer field. And my son, actually, this was his very first soccer game. He's in uh, kindergarten or like pre-K this year. And so he finally gets to play team soccer. And they actually have games rather than just doing the soccer skills. So it was really fun to see him play. And then he actually got a goal too, which was which was fun. So Again, I'm just going through the ephemera pack there. There are quite a few pieces in here that I'll end up using on my page. And I love that there's a mix of both sayings and icons. So you can kind of mix them together um, to embellish your page. Uh, those soccer balls are really great. And I'm, I like that they come in two different sizes. So you can use more than one on your layout. Um, and then I'm also going to use the number one to the bottom left of the photo. And what I like to do a lot with die cut pieces like these is just use foam adhesive. And I just use the Scotch foam adhesive. You can actually get this at like Walmart or Joann's or Target I think has it too. Um, sometimes I order out on Amazon. I've seen too where people have like huge rolls of it. But I like that I can cut the size that I need and to me it's like the perfect amount of dimension it's not too thick and it's not too thin and it's not too squishy uh, so I really like using that and I try to keep it on hand at all times so that I don't run out um, the thing which I think I mentioned too is that I like that you can cut it you know super small so like those tiny star pieces um, you're just able to cut like a tiny little square out so it can perfectly fit on the back of that piece so I'm almost done adhering my pieces. This is kind of a tedious process, but um, it's not too bad. And I, I just like the dimension that it gives rather than just adhering those with plain um, rolling adhesive. So I also wanted to try to incorporate one of these tags from the kit and um, or these little tabs, I guess you call them. And I'm going to end up using that one that says on the field and the best way to use these is to apply a little bit of adhesive to the inside and then apply a little bit to the back and you can just tuck it under your photo or layer there and then fold it over and um, push it down to adhere it. I also thought that I needed a little bit more color and so I'm pulling out some of the puffy star stickers in the yellow color and I'm just going to add a few of those for some more embellishment 
and then I thought that I needed something above my title there just because I thought it was looking a little bit bare and so I found a phrase sticker from the 12 by 12 sticker sheet that I'm going to use um, right above that photo and that I think kind of makes the title just pop a little bit better uh, there's also a couple stickers on there that I'm going to use and then the last thing I have to do is just uh, cut out my journaling so I have a typewriter I think I've mentioned that before I just typed my journaling out and then I'm cutting it into a thin strip and then I will go ahead and trim that up and then just apply a little bit of adhesive to the back of that before I adhere it onto my page. Um, so I hope you get a chance to play with these felt pennants. I think they are a really unique embellishment. I don't know that there are really any else, you know, like it out there in the scrapbooking world. And I think they're particularly great for uh, sports photos. You know, if you have kids that play sports or even if you're just like a, a big football fan, um, they're great to add to layouts and they add a lot of fun color and texture. So here are some close-ups. Here's my completed layout. Uh, again, thanks for stopping by the blog and or YouTube today and I hope you have a great week. Bye!